five biggest oil rigs in the world. Petroleum and natural gas that are present beneath the ocean's surface are extracted, stored, and processed using oil and gas platforms or offshore drilling rigs. These platforms come in a variety of varieties, including fixed, spar type, semi, submersible, and others. The U.S. government owns the majority of the oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, followed by those in the Persian Gulf and the Far East. Such structures have been developed to endure the harshest circumstances while minimizing their environmental impact thanks to developments in maritime engineering and the energy sector. These are essential for supplying the world's oil demand since they are outfitted with the newest technologies to maximize productivity. The five largest oil platforms in the world are listed in this video. Number 5. Oil Platform Olympia Olympus, the fifth, largest oil and gas platform, was built to access the Mars fields in the Gulf of Mexico, which are located 200 kilometers south of New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States. The placement of this platform was a component of a scheme to extend the oil fields' useful lives as far as 2050 and possibly beyond. Its construction and assembly, which began in 2010, took more than 24,000 employees three years to finish. Samsung Industries constructed the platform's base in the South Korean Dewoo shipbuilding yard, and barges were used to transport it to the installation location. 2014 saw the start of the rig's oil extraction. It is the largest platform in the Gulf of Mexico and the seventh largest facility owned by the Shell Company. It is a tension, leg-type platform that is moored just one kilometer from the old platform. The platform uses 48 oil wells to extract and refine more than 360. 000 barrels of oil each day from a depth of 6, 500 meters under the ocean's surface. The Mars field was established in 1989, and operations commenced in 1997. It is a valuable natural resource for the U.S. and essential for satisfying the country's energy needs. Olympus, which has a height of 405 feet and a weight of 122, 000 tons blends the newest innovations with luxury amenities for its 195 employees. The living quarters are distributed over four stories and include kitchens, gyms, a small first aid facility with medical personnel, as well as equipment for emergency evacuation. Special corrosion, resistant paint has been applied to the pillars supporting the platform. Number 4. The Hibernia Platform. In Canada, St. John, Newfoundland, is located around 314 kilometers from the Hibernia oil rig. It was built to take advantage of Hibernia and the Avalon, one of the oldest oil fields in the world. These reserves, which are located at depths of more than 3,500 m underwater, are estimated to have more than 3 billion barrels of oil. They were discovered in 1979, and the Hibernia oil platform's construction got underway in 1991 and took seven years to finish. Every day, it generates more than 1,400 barrels of oil. It is jointly owned by several businesses, including Murphy Oil and Chevron, and is run by ExxonMobil. A GBS was thought to be the best option for offering the structure the needed stability and durability to sustain these conditions while operating at its greatest capacity because the area experiences unfavorable weather conditions with strong northern winds, fog, and enormous floating icebergs. Additional wells were dug in 2008 to boost production. The construction consists of a 106M cement caisson made of concrete that is shielded from icebergs by a surrounding steel structure. The GBS consists of storage facilities for 1.4 million oil barrels. An oil ship that services this facility transport the oil from these tanks. The 4100M high shafts support the 38,000 ton decks. While the lowest level includes temperature control and pipelines, the top level has automated control and an emergency alarm system. These decks additionally have 190 worker, capable cabins, modules, life, saving tools, rescue boats, and a helipad. The modules for the rig were imported from Italy and the Dewu shipbuilding yard was located in Korea, two of the top manufacturing locations in the world. The parts were brought to the installation location via barges and put over the GBS platform. The fourth, largest oil platform in the world, weighing 600, 000 tons, was then finished. Number 3. Petronius. In the Gulf of Mexico, 
adjacent to New Orleans in the United States, is where you can find the Petronius oil platform. This fixed, complying tower, type rigs construction took place between 1997 and 2000. The Petronius oil field, discovered in the 1990s and named for the renowned Roman scholar who served in the court of Roman Emperor Nero, was intended for exploitation. It is located at a depth of more than 530 meters underwater. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai has now surpassed the rig as the tallest free, standing building. Since the project was started in the 1990s and cost roughly $500 million, its construction was particularly plagued by several technical issues. It was built by McDermott International Limited, which was also in charge of its assembly. W.H. Linder & Associates was assigned the engineering contract. Sixteen oil wells were drilled and connected with oil pipelines before its construction. This structure sways with the tide currents despite having a sturdy base made possible by numerous pilings extending from the upper structure to the seabed. Typically, platforms are built to be stable to resist movement caused by waves or winds. It is 1869 feet tall and 41,000 tons in weight. A drilling rig, housing quarters for the workers, pipes, an operations room, and two levels of 21 oil well slots are all included in the 8,000 ton structure. Every day, the facility produces more than 60, 000 barrels and 3, 100, 000 M3 of oil and gas. One of its modules, weighing around 4, 000 tons, was repaired in 1998, but the installation of the lighter module, weighing 3,500 tons, was hampered by broken lifting wires that also damaged the installation tools. A crane with a lifting capacity of 8,000 tons was refurbished and installed it. Number 2. Perdido. The U.S. Gulf of Mexico is next to the second, largest oil and gas platform in the world, Perdido. It started operating in 2010 and is run by Shell Oil, one of the leading oil firms. Geographically speaking, the project was exceedingly difficult due to the Gulf's frequent hurricanes and typhoons. As a result, the platform needed to be strong enough to survive hurricanes and sub-zero temperatures. Three low-pressure oil reservoirs in the area, Great White, Tobago, and Silverfield, are extracted by the structure from the seabed at a depth of about 8,000 feet. Every day, the platform produces 200 million cubic meters of gas and 100,000 barrels of oil. It was built in Finland by the construction firm Technip and has a distinctive classic spar design. The hull of the spar, which is 170 meters long and as tall as the Eiffel Tower, weighs the equivalent of 11,000 automobiles. One of the world's deepest oil production complexes, whose platform weighs 53,000 tons and whose decks are as large as two soccer fields, was designed, built, and assembled by about 12,500 experts. The spar and platform were delivered from Finland to the Gulf of Mexico by numerous barges and carriers. It took the team more than 22 hours to moor it appropriately, despite Gustav, a hurricane was rapidly approaching. Due to its internal ballast system, which floods the tanks and stabilizes the platform while minimizing movement due to high waves and strong winds, the structure withstood the powerful hurricane. This system also minimizes pressure on the pipes carrying oil and gas to the platform from the seafloor. The platform consists of three levels, each of which has a drilling rig, a processing plant, and living quarters for roughly 175 personnel. Additionally, it contains a cafe, gyms, TV rooms, emergency equipment, and a water filtration and desalination system. Number 1. Burkut Oil Rig The largest oil and gas platform in the world, known as Burkut, is located close to Sakhalin Island which is close to the Japanese mainland and the Russian shore that faces the Pacific Ocean. With a weight of around 200,000 tons and a depth of 35 meters from the seafloor, it is a true engineering marvel. The platform's maximum yearly oil extraction capacity is thought to be 4.5 million tons. This platform, known as Burkut or Golden Eagle, was built by a group of large oil firms from the US, Japan, India, and Russia for a cost of $12 billion to access the vast Arkaton, Dejai oil reserves, which extend more than 50 kilometers from the Russian shore into the Okhotsk Sea. The name of this platform highlights its economic importance for Russia, 
and according to government estimates, the rig will generate more than $9 billion in revenue over the following 10 years. The platform, which is situated in a difficult area with floating polar icebergs, was built to function even in extremely low temperatures and includes a special electricity system to stay operational throughout the bitter Russian winters. Do you feel this video helpful for you? Post your feedback in our comments section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.